What's up everyone, welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at Polygon and its recent price action and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. First things first, please smash the like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. YouTube is not pushing crypto content out currently and our subscribers aren't getting notifications. So make sure to join our free Telegram to stay up to date with all of our videos as they are posted. Links in the description. It really helps if you hit the like. We're posting four videos per day, so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. We'd also like to thank you all so, so much for your support. We've just hit 10k subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, we've had many reports that our subscribers aren't seeing our content, and this is most likely because you haven't hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon with all notifications turned on. Give it a tap now, turn on all notifications, and you'll most likely see most of our videos being posted. Also, if you want to support the channel, make sure to tap that like, it really, really helps us out. We're posting four videos per day, so make sure to check back every single day for daily updates. So we're just taking another quick look at Polygon here, and you can see quite clearly, you know, we're showing a lot of signs of life here, aren't we? This is basically the last few months. Obviously, we came all the way up to this all-time high, around $270 just before we had the crash. Obviously, we had really, really big show of strength for Polygon. But obviously, since then, just like every crypto, we've basically been in this descending wedge, haven't we? Something like this. Moving to the downside. Obviously, we fell out of the bottom of it and faked out to the downside momentarily on a, just a, a plainly ridiculous move, we think, of just crazy oversoldness. This is the most oversold that we've actually been on this chart, even more oversold than the March crash, showing just how, you know, ridiculously, ridiculously overextended this move to the downside actually was getting for Polygon. And you can see now, we're basically getting that move to the upside, aren't we? We've actually faked out to the downside of the uh, of the wedge here. We've come all the way up, actually tested the, the top of the wedge as resistance, flipped it into support, you know, we've chopped up through the 20 EMA here on the week on the daily time frame as well. We've actually flipped that into support. We've challenged the <clears throat> we've challenged the 55 here. We've consolidated for essentially a week in between the two levels, which is pretty nice to see. A nice bit of consolidation before continuation. And now it looks as though we are actually reclaiming the 55 EMA here on our weekly time on our daily time frame here as well, which is really really good to see. We're seeing a lot of cryptocurrencies do this, which is a really really good sign of continuation. Obviously, ever since here, we have been flipped bearish on our EMAs after this, you know, frankly, crazy parabolic move that we've been seeing for Polygon. And you can see now that we have actually, you know, <clears throat> uh, come up to the upside here, broken through all these key resistances. Resistance broke, resistance broke, and now it looks like resistance is getting broke for a third time. You know, we're looking for that full reversal out of here, aren't we? I mean, you can see this is pretty much going to be potentially a V-shaped recovery here. And, you know, if we start to backtest these levels of support here, and Bitcoin starts to, you know, chop it sideways a bit more so alts can have a bit of a run because, you know, Ethereum's at like $2,600 right now, price target met, which we were saying was our price prediction for yesterday, by the way. You can see we've actually come up. We've come up and pretty much tested perfectly this kind of level at 113 here, this, pre this kind of uh, previous level of resistance and support here. So obviously... We do need a bit of back testing going on here. We do think with these EMAs, but if we can do that and chop it sideways a bit more, get some some more support, and probably dra start dragging this 20 moving average over our shoulder, and start flipping the 55 like this, we could potentially be looking at some very very nice, you know, movement to the upside for Polygon. Because obviously, when you break out of a of a uh, a wedge like this, you are looking to go back to where you formed it, which would be up here potentially at you know this 230 level or even this 270 level. And these will be our targets for the next month or so. If we do see everything, you know, starting to reverse out of it, because we're seeing a lot of signs of life, aren't we? Breaking out of key levels of resistance all over the place. And a quick look at the weekly time frame here will confirm that we're actually holding the 20 moving average here as a very, very strong support. We lost it there for a second, but we came down, tested key support here. We've actually come back up and we're currently holding the 20 moving average on the weekly time frame, which is so, so bullish. Because it just it shows you know continuation, doesn't it? You can see here, ever since we got above the 20 and the 55, we've absolutely flown out the gates, not even retested them on the weekly time frame at all here, even with this extended period of consolidation. Which really does show just how you know crazy parabolic this move for Polygon was. 
and now you can see, you know, we've had this big extended uh, pullback and consolidation, which we desperately needed, really, didn't we? Because we've been horribly overextended. But you can see, you know, we've, we've reclaimed the 20 on the weekly here. And, you know, things are looking very, very bullish, in my opinion. So just take a quick look at the hourly time frame here so we can see what's happening. You can see we've actually, you know, come up, retested this high here. Not even, we haven't actually got the breakout yet, so it does look as though, you know, we have been rejected here. We're just slowly consolidating, aren't we? And essentially, you know, some kind of ascending triangle pattern. I need to actually add the ascending triangle, the triangle pattern to my tools here so I can actually do this. So you can see we're kind of, you know, you could say we're somewhat forming a pattern like this, where we're essentially forming this uh, this triangle. And, you know, we've got that breakout target somewhere up here. For essentially that continuation after we break out of the, tri of the triangle, you can see we are chopping it up in this kind of thing. It does look as though, you know, potentially making higher lows all the time here, that we're probably going to be seeing a breakout quite soon for Polygon and most cryptos in general. Bitcoin does look as though it is getting rejected at a 42k level though. So if we do see Bitcoin start to fall down, then obviously we will see um, Polygon following it as well. Basically everything's all eyes on Bitcoin right now. And you can see on our daily time frame here, set this to auto. You can see we are getting rejected at this kind of, I keep losing my paintbrush as well. There we go. We are getting rejected at the, uh, at basically the, 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 uh, range high here that we have formed. We've been in this range for ages now, haven't we? But we are seeing a bit of a rejection here at the top of the range, which is no surprise considering how ridiculously bullish we have been. But, you know, we're, we're flipping bullish on our AMAs as well on our daily time frame for Bitcoin. So things looking really, really good, aren't they? And you can see quite clearly Polygon itself is actually, you know, benefiting very nicely from what's happening with Bitcoin. You can see we are heading upwards here, breaking out key resistances, flipping them into support. So, you know, hopefully we can start to see ourselves hitting some of these price targets, you know, up to this 125 level. This would be our next target, um, next uh, level of resistance to target once we have, um, you know, broken out of this little range that we're in right now. But, you know, things looking really bullish, aren't they? And, you know, in the short term, we do strongly think that Polygon, I mean, it may well have a pullback here, consolidate and then push to the upside. But we are looking for that 125 level as our next level to target on the short term. And, uh, you know, in the long term, we do strongly think that Polygon is a really, really good project. And we are looking for this $10 level as our, um, this $10 level is essentially our price target in the next six to eight months for the end of the bull run. Because if we take a quick look here at our FIB extensions, you can see that this is actually entirely possible. If we do get into that, you know, 161, that 227 area of extension here, where we you know we're looking for some nice price targets, aren't we? And I mean, it seems quite likely that this could be the case. We'll just take a look at some of these previous extensions just for argument's sake. You can see on this previous extension, we did actually get, you know, really, really, really overextended way past the 227. So not saying that that's going to happen because, you know, $20 for Polygon, that would be a really, really nice target, but could be a bit of a stretch considering what we've seen recently. But, you know, Polygon's a really good project, isn't it? So we do think at 5 to $10, very realistic price target by the end of the bull run. So... That's our update today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below, or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video, where you can get access to our private Discord, we're offering coin calls, one-to-one -one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential, and access to our brand new 100x portfolio. With so many benefits, you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that, and they could be valued all the way up to $1,600 each, but don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up, otherwise you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day, so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with PureVPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.